Okay, I want to show you a home main alarm system. This is our little tester light. I have this on test. So, whenever it tests, we'll see that light come on. But, let me show you this unit real quick. What I have is power coming in through just a lightweight cord. Power coming out to power up the whatever you want to come on. So actually, <clears throat> the white and black would be hooked to this wire, and the red wire would come on to this wire. Red and white. Alright, there it is, came on, sensed. But, this light I think would be an excellent light to have on the interior of the home, where you think someone might come through. Uh, by a door, a basement window, anywhere you think a burglar can get in. Or even encompassing half the um, basement. Or upstairs through a uh, uh, fire escape. You can have it looking at those windows and doors. But it's a nice unit to have sitting inside. I looked at options for, you know, keeping people out. Uh, one option was hiring a company to come in, put a... Um, system in and then pay them to monitor it, which may be rather effective, but rather expensive. You can also buy those surveillance systems, and I guess they tape what's going on. And I'm not sure that they inform anyone that someone's breaking in, or they inform you, and you got to run over there. So, uh, it wasn't too into those systems. Yeah, and I don't think they're very modular, I don't know, but they were they were rather on the expensive side too. So I thought I'd try to come up with something simple and cheap and try to keep people out of the homes. I've already had two mailings where they got into the copper. So we want to uh, try and keep that from happening again. So this is my first attempt. Um, this would be good by the back door, uh, by windows where the windows are concealed, uh, where it's easier for them to bust them and, and get in, um, you set them up right there. Now in this you can plug a radio, and the radio would blast on, and that would probably start on your wouldn't be uh, robber. And Instead of a radio, I was also thinking about hooking up a doorbell. Not one of those ding ding, one of those ones that uh, rings the bell constantly. And that, I think that would be pretty effective, and you can mod that anywhere. So, but one thing I want to try to make is a. to go through the basement window so this head can sit outside. With minimal damage to the window, when you just have to caulk it up a little bit and paint it. So you can catch the people walking up beside the homes. So that's probably the path they're going to take, is walking up one of the either sides and trying to find a way to get in through the side or the back door, the back basement door. So those are the main parts I want to try and grab. And I want to do it cheaply and... Uh, trying to keep people out of the houses. So I wanted to show you my first attempt at an alarm that could protect the inside of the building. At this point, and like I said, we're going to try making one two cents on the outside of the building. So hopefully we're going to do both. But basically this one's ready to go, but I think I'm going to wire in a uh, Transformer in a, a doorbell instead of a radio, but a radio couldn't work too. So there you have it, my first attempt at a homemade alarm system to protect uh, buildings you're going to flip or a vacant building you're none and you're waiting for a buyer and you need to get all this equipment out of there quick and easy before you show it. And you don't want to make it look like a uh, uh, house and living a bunch of criminals around and people are breaking in everywhere either. 
So, we're going to try making it easy to pick up, modular, try to pick up all the areas where they probably wouldn't break in. And this, is, this will be one part of it, and we'll be doing other parts. And hopefully we can come up with a system that will protect the house. So, I'll get back to you on the next step.